Over the past six years, the Lummi Nation have been connecting communities on the front lines of the environmental crisis, drawing lines of solidarity in the fight against unsustainable fossil fuel development projects. This fall, they drove the struggle they've been leading into the heart of one of the country's most important museums. Led by a totem pole carved by master carver Jewel James, the Lummi brought with them a formidable delegation of tribal leaders. This was a special and unique opportunity where a major museum was offered as a platform to celebrate the role native people play as protectors of the earth. We love to be an ally of the totem pole journey and want to contribute to raising awareness and building alliances. There are, are not enough directors who understand the moment and the narrative shift that's needed about indigenous cultures, about indigenous peoples, and how we are big players in the struggle to save Mother Earth. The Lummi and their allies set up an exhibit that was aimed at setting a new standard for other museums to follow. 200 museum directors and decision makers were in attendance for the opening of the exhibit that coincided with an international museum conference. This is a, a brand new exhibit, it's called Kwa Hoi, and you can see the many pictures and the many journeys that we have traveled over the past five years to bring education to communities on the effects of fossil fuel. Visitors learned firsthand about the important role the telling of history plays in shaping culture and public perception. This here is so culturally relevant. It means that we're being heard. Our voices are being heard. Like they should be for the first time in a long time. And I believe it's very clear what this totem's message is. It's the message of us rising. For ceremony, a connection was re-established to the spirit of the land and to the history of the place, stretching back to a time long before the museum was even built. And this resurgence of culture, gathering people in a place like this, where the waters meet, this is a very powerful place where water ruled the area. That's what nourished this tree before it became this magic piece. And I won't say art because it's a story. It's history. Each of you have laid your hands on it and you've given it your power to continue that story. That's what the totems poles do. That story will continue because you're listening. The totem pole journey has inspired so many to draw a line against the forces pushing us toward extinction. Now, the Lummi has extended the invitation to museums to join them on the right side of history. I'm going to be gone a long time from this earth and this will still be standing saying, we did something. And that's what these museums are about. In a world of crisis and on the brink of some major global collapse, museums are and need to be agents for change. How are our future generations going to look at and analyze the decisions that we made that put us in a predicament that we're going to be in the future? This will represent that we did something, that we stood for something, that we wanted to stop it, that we said no to industry, and we said no to money, and we said yes to earth and air and water. That's what we did.